girl. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are actually going to be saying goodbye to my mature male Grandma Stola Polkrapis. If you guys remember, I paired him with my female Pikachu back in February, and she has yet to make a sack, but I am still kind of expecting one at some point. I've just been told that it takes Grandma Stola forever to do literally everything, so it's probably not gonna be really soon, but hopefully soon, hopefully. That said, he does have another female contender interested, so I thought we could go ahead and give him to my friend, because she asked me for him, and I have already paired him. Hopefully, she will have some luck with him and get a sack. I also thought it'd be a good idea to recycle his enclosure because he's in a, like, a really big enclosure right now. It's actually the same kind of enclosure I have my female Grandma Stola Polkrapis in. I'm not really sure where you could find an enclosure like this. They were actually given to me, but I thought it would be perfect for my Brachypilma Smithy because she is also a very large adult female, and right now she's in a pretty small critter keeper because when she arrived to me, at the time we were definitely under strict quarantine and there was no place I could really go to like enclosure shop. So I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to upgrade her into a more suitable enclosure. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start off by rehousing my mature male so I can deliver him to my friend in that. And then we'll go ahead and rehouse my Brachypilma Smithy into his enclosure. And then we're going to take him up to the pet store to meet up with my friend where I can give him to her. And maybe we'll look around a little bit. I don't know. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so first let's get him out. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. Yeah, you're actually going the right way. Nope, nope, wrong way. <laughs> I know. I don't want you to go either. Go on. Nope, 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 go this way. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, come back, you were going the right way. Go back. Yes, 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 yes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, there we go. I'll go ahead and move some of his substrate and stuff in here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Just stop, just stop. Okay, so we're gonna bring him over to my friend in a minute, but first let's go ahead and redo his enclosure for my Brachypilma Smithy. So I'm gonna dump this really quick and then we will put in some new substrate. should be pretty good. I got something really cool. Giant bag of Reptisoil. This stuff should hang on to humidity like really good and hopefully resist any molding issues or anything like that. This one is a special blend of humus, hummus. Eric, what's H-U-M-U-S? Hummus? Why would there be hummus and substrate? I don't know. Humus? I'm sure there's probably some kind of something. He's just trying to sound smart. Peat moss, sand, and carbon. So if this works out, this might be my new favorite because it's got the peat moss and it also has the sand, carbon, and whatever hummus is. I love hummus. It's so good on sandwiches. Did you Google it? Oh my God, it's so soft. This is way better than cocoa fiber. good amount right yeah this totally seems like a good amount about a hands width <laughs> we're gonna just reuse this because why not it's a good little hide we can reuse some cord bark too a handful of this moss I'm just really like leaf litter I'm really liking this enclosure so far. I need rocks, we need rocks. We'll do this really pretty one. It's a geode right there. And don't worry, these aren't like sharp. Like I made sure to pretty much like get all the edges off. This is a really cool rock too. This one has fossils on it. I found this one. Look at that. 
really cool. Just put them right over here. This girl is a champion hair kicker. Like if I look at her, she just kicks hair. So I already know how this is gonna go for the most part. Get her water dish out. Right over here. It's perfect. All right, how am I gonna do this? She's webbed up in here. But yeah, as you guys see, this enclosure is like so small for her. Like it's okay for them to be small, but this is like so small. It's ridiculous. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and get hair. Also, she's really stubborn and doesn't like to move. It honestly might just be easier. Can I do this? Oh, is this gonna work? Oh, it worked. <laughs> I literally just picked her up on this <laughs> and moved her over. I'll let her keep this cork bark too. Maybe I'll steal this piece. Steal this, just move it right here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> lost her grip okay. i'm just trying to make it all good if i were you i would kick at me right now there we go look at you this is a nice new enclosure for you So check it out, we have a couple pieces of cork, some rocks, a lot of moss, some leaves, pretty fancy water dish that she's had, and also this pipe. And this pipe is definitely big enough for her to hide in, which is awesome because she can like hide in the cork or she can hide in this little pipe. And this enclosure is like really large. It's like two, Two and a half of these so yeah here we go i finally have a really nice enclosure for this girl i feel like this one's definitely fit for her even though there was really nothing wrong with this one besides the size i'm just really happy to upgrade her because she's like literally a queen brachypomus smithy are pretty rare and i was lucky enough to be gifted this one from micro wilderness she just deserves the best enclosure so yeah anyway let's go ahead and take him up to my friend so that he can have yet another girlfriend and hopefully we can get two sacks out of him because that would be cool So we are here and we are going to give him to my friend. I don't know if this will definitely be the end for us. If she does have success in pairing for them, I might ask if I can have him back to try pairing him again with Pikachu if I don't get a sack soon and he's still alive. So this might not be the last time we ever see him, but it could be, so I'm kind of sad. He's such a good tarantula though. He's a little skittish like you would expect from a mature male, but he's really, really gentle, really tolerant. He doesn't kick hair. He doesn't ever threat pose or strike or anything you can pretty much poke him and he'll just be fine if you guys remember billy eilish you should see me in the crown that music video she puts a grandma stole a polka piece in her mouth should we put tarantulas in our mouth no but if i was gonna put a tarantula in my mouth would i put a g polka piece in my mouth like he would be a great mouth spider billy eilish hit him up Him before I change my mind. <laughs> you wanna see the girl? Yep, she's like the same size as my girl. Maybe, maybe like a teeny bit smaller, but she's about the same size. She's super friendly too. She looks so cool. This is gonna be great. I hope you get a sack. So this is an Acanthoscaria geniculata. She just worked on breeding today. Look at how little he is compared to her. Aww. The mature males are precious. <laughs> oh, okay. I just put hand sanitizer on and I have a cut. <laughs> okay, so I'm super happy that Jen took him and hopefully, hopefully it works out. Hopefully 
we both get a sack. That'd be super cool. But yeah, so I will keep you guys updated on Pikachu and also their female. But yeah, I really hope that we both get success. That would be great. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. Anyway. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, Teespring, and a podcast. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Stay well.